we want the good guys to win and we want the bad guys to lose. It is disgraceful that we have an American president and vice president who haven't done a thing. Hamas gives up its arms and stops the fighting and lets the hostages come home. Hamas gives up its arms and stops the fighting and lets the hostages come home. In, in this crowd, we are, some of us are Christians, some of us are Jews, some of us are people even of no faith, but we are united in the basic common sense principle that we want the good guys to win and we want the bad guys to lose. And what happened on October the 7th was disgraceful and we have to fight to make sure it never happens again. Not since the Holocaust, almost uh, 70 years ago, almost 80 years ago, have we had such a terrible attack on innocent Jewish life. Sadly, many Americans do not know the full truth of the Holocaust, and many Americans do not know the full truth of what really happened on October the 7th. Many don't know that more than 1,000 people, including 32 innocent American citizens, were killed. Many do not know that 252 people, including 12 Americans, were taken hostage by Hamas, and that Hamas has held American citizens hostage this entire time. I know, of course, it was Israel and it was Jewish people who were most affected by what happened on October the 7th. But we can't ever let the American media, we can't ever let our fellow citizens forget that October the 7th was not just an attack on Israel and it was not just an attack on Jews, it was an attack on Americans and every single American of common sense and principle must reject it. And I know that there are many, many people who want the war to end. I am certainly one of those who wants the war to end and wants peace to return to Israel and to the territories that are currently completely destroyed by war. But the truth is that the best way to end the war, and I believe the only way to end the war, is if Hamas would let the hostages go. It is disgraceful, and I hate to get, a, I'm going to get a little political here, it is disgraceful that we have an American president and vice president who haven't done a thing. Vice President Harris, our message is bring them home. Use your authority to help bring them home. We can do it. We just need real leadership. Today, in the United States, there are literal pro-Hamas protesters around the country calling for a ceasefire. And what they're really calling for is for a unilateral surrender. I have a different message. The only way this war is going to end is when Hamas gives up its arms and stops the fighting and lets the hostages come home. That is the way to end this conflict. Now we have Iran-backed Hezbollah attacking Israel and Iran itself launching hundreds of rockets at our allies and in sometimes even our own troops. America and the world are at risk of being dragged into a massive and bloody regional conflict. And none of us want that. So to achieve peace, we have to remember the very old and simple wisdom. Peace comes through strength and not weakness. Thank you for having me. Let's go get this done, and let's remember the innocent people who lost their lives. God bless you all. Thank you for having me.